Cleveland is known for a lot of firsts. The first oil company, Sohio, the first planned suburb, Shaker Heights, and the first black mayor, Carl Stokes. Well, this week, I found another first. His name is Art Ledger. When he came back from Vietnam 23 years ago, he was a man in search of peace and a new way to make a living. He chose taxidermy. It's something that you've got to work really hard on, and it takes your full attention to create a mount. And it's probably the only nerve pill I've had since I come home from Vietnam is taxidermy. That's how I relax. I really get into mounting these animals. What makes Art unique is simply that he was the first black taxidermist in America. And that number hasn't grown a lot either. That number would probably not be even 5% uh, throughout the United States still. It's a trade that most minority groups tend to go around. Part of it was for the last 20 years it has been very secretive. It's a craft that is not taught to just anyone. It's a hand-me-down like a cabinet maker. Art was helped out by another unique individual, an old European master named John J. Kozar, who wanted an apprentice as much as Art wanted to learn a craft. He told me, he said, I wanted to find a person that would continue after I'm dead. And I said, I'm really serious. But he was very hard on me. I had to build all my forms and parts from scratch. And when I say that, you can pick up a catalog in our trade and just call up and get a deer form. We made them out of paper. And that took five hours to make one when we could order one for a reasonable price and be here and, and work with it much cheaper. So he was a craftsman. He didn't believe in using even an airbrush. He taught me to hand paint fish. I wasn't allowed an airbrush. He said, when you can hand paint that good, then when you pick up that airbrush, you'll be better. Art sees a need to teach people about what he does now. Well, the main thing is that you've got to learn to appreciate taxidermy and understand that this is a trade that the children's children will be able to look at these mounts and know it. And if you must go out and enjoy yourself hunting, preserve it to deserve it. While Art takes what he does seriously, there have been some weird and comical moments too. Probably the most interesting job I had was mounting a bat. Actually flying bat, the lady came in and said she practiced voodoo and she was actually a witch. And I'd mounted a bat for her, a large bat. But for the most part, Art Ledger is a spokesman for beauty and preservation of nature, an artist who is constantly seeking perfection. I think that taxidermy gives me an excitement and enjoyment when that person walks in and just say the words, wow, that looks real. That means you've captured nature. The best mount has never been mounted. You've got to keep trying to get better. On the Near West Side with another remarkable Cleveland First, for North Coast Magazine, I'm Alan Parrish.